Now we're going to add some paint to the walls. And this is another image, another file that I have included in the class exercise file download folder. So be sure to check that out. It's called cast iron SW for Sherwin Williams 6202. And it looks like this. It's just a flat paint chip. And the way I got this was I just went over to the Sherwin Williams website and I looked for a paint color that I liked or that I'm specking. And I found the flat image of it. And then I just took a screenshot. You want to be careful to get the flat version of it. Sometimes paint companies will give you an image that looks like it's been spilled onto the ground and there's a little bit of shine to one side. You don't want that one. You want the flat image. And just take a screenshot, save it to your files, and be sure to name it and put the paint number just so that you can start to build your library of textures so that you don't have to go searching for it every time if you do have a paint color that you use often. All right, so that is available in the folder. We're going to import that, but first, before you import it, just like the flooring, we need to double click into the group to have access to this. So if you clicked out of the group like I did, you wanna double click into it so that you have access to these walls here. So again, double click. All right, now everything else is grayed out and the flooring and the wall are at full contrast. Let's go to File, Import, and then we're looking for that same file name, cast iron. And then again, use as texture. You don't want to use as image, use it as a texture so that it repeats. And then import. Same thing here, we want to click on the wall, one of these walls here, and don't get too close to the ground because it may spill down onto the ground and you'll have to start the process over. So click release and then click release. The scale of this one doesn't matter because it's a flat color. It's going to repeat nicely no matter what. All right, so there it is. If I hit B for bucket to then apply it to the other walls, you can see that it's not picking that up. Just because we've imported it doesn't mean it's loaded into the paint bucket. So this icon here lets me know which color is loaded into it. And right now it's just the default color, this slash. The back uh, face is blue, the front face is white, like we see here. So we need to load this in. And there's two different ways to do it. If you are on this screen, you can just click on home. If you're not, the colors and model panel here. If you scroll down to the bottom, this is the thumbnail for that. So you can just click on it and then that will load it in to the paint bucket and you can apply it. And then you don't have to load it every single time. You can just use it once it's in there, you know, it's, it's set. So that's the one that is loaded in. So we can just apply it to all of those walls. I'm gonna undo that and show you the other way to load that into the paint bucket. So let's say I'm back here on the default, it's loaded into the default and not the paint color. So the other way is to sample the paint. So with the paint bucket activated, I've got my paint bucket icon. Look in the lower left-hand corner and it says command equals sample material. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, that's going to be alt equals sample material. So if I tap my command key, I get this little uh, sampler here, this little eyedropper. I can click and release to load that paint bucket up with the paint color. So I've sampled that. Whoop, I accidentally resampled it. Let me try that again. All right, so I'm going to hit a uh, command to sample it. There we go. And I will just continue painting the other walls here. So either way, you end up in the exact same spot. I do want to note one thing about the sampler there. So I did B plus command to get this sampler so I can sample any of these materials and apply it. But this icon here looks really similar, but this is not the same function. It does sample, but it doesn't sample a texture. It samples a pixel. This is a pixel picker. And on a Windows machine, this is going to look different. It's going to be a little computer screen with a sampler. So um, this one, if you click on it, it will sample like say, maybe just this brown color here and apply it. So it's just a pixel, it's not the texture. So make sure that if you do want the texture, you use the um, B for bucket plus command or alt. Looks similar, but it does a different function. All right, I'll hit space bar and click out into some white space because I'm happy with the way the paint looks now. So good job building out your model. I'm gonna add a few more things like that plant 
maybe some light fixtures, and I'm going to use those strategic movements that I uh, talked about in the 3D warehouse section to kind of build this out. And then in the next section, we are going to add some scenes, shadows, and styles to wrap up our course and finish out our model. So again, I'm going to add a couple more pieces off camera, and I'll see you back in the scenes lesson.